Here we are in Serenje, Turkey, at a lovely little restaurant at the start of the town. Un, uh, unbelievable is that about a hundred, well, three buses, so there must have been anywhere from a hundred to 120 people just left out of here. Serenje is one of those places you have to visit when you're coming to Ephesus if you're not on a boat. Even if you're on a boat, take a taxi and come on up. And everybody's at work here today. <laughs> there we are. That's called freshness at the kitchen. I just wanted to walk over here and show you a few of the houses. It's kind of difficult at that distance to see them with this camera. And it sure doesn't do the town justice. But this is a, a Greek village that's been left intact and the houses are all Greek orientated. See the town of Serenje. Up in the hills behind Selchuk and Ephesus in Turkey. This is one of the gentlemen that make the uh, product that you can see downstairs. Or downstairs down in the town. And he's got all these gowns up. One of the many things you can buy that are locally made. And we're just getting down into this village area, Serenje, the small booths. Some of the local ladies out selling their goods. Oh, leather bags and all works. This is the center of the town. This is one of the old Greek churches that are in Serenje. You can see how nice it is. And the horses are across the way. We're in uh, St. John the Baptist Church in Serenje. And you can see the Greek writings over the top. 1832, the door entrance. This is one of the Greek churches up in Serenje. Oh, I can't see that. The dome isn't quite there anymore. They've got it covered with a uh, plastic tarp. I'm sorry, it's not a tarp, it's a glass wall up there. Anyways, a wonderful restored church. You can still hear the Greek singing in here. This uh, Greek church is presently under renovation and they're trying to hold the roof up from collapsing anymore. But this is how they look before they restore them. If you want, I'm going to say now to welcome my Merhaba. Aina. Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. Ben İsmet Bahriyan, burası benim atölyem, ev atölyesi. Şirince'de yaşıyorum, işte buyurun yaşadığımız yer, yaptıklarım bunlar. We're up in the hills of uh, Serenje, and we've run into this wonderful artist that uh, I want to introduce you to. Or he's going to introduce himself here. Geliyor sana şimdi baba. Merhaba. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. 
Sesli olarak. Nasılsınız? Sibeli sen yardımcı ol. Tamam. <gülüyor> ben İsmet Bey soy isminin oyuncuyum. Ben sen de çekim edin. So I just want to take you into uh, his shop and show you the various things that he does. Now, he's doing ceramics. And there's his oven. But here's his stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. If you come to Serenjay, which you have to if you're at Ephesus, come up and see this artist. I'm hoping that you get uh, a good shot of this. Now this is all handmade in the shop. There's Mary, Ephesus, of course, various plates, ships, oh, and here's one, little risque one, but there's the rest of the display, and here's the library at Ephesus, boom, boom, okay, show me. So if you're designing your house, all you have to do is uh, have him paint up some extras for you. Yeah, just put these in your bathroom tile area. And there's another one. And here's the Last Supper. Oh, the light's kind of shining on it, sorry. And Militos, the commerce capital of the Ionian Empire. And this is what you call an outdoor kitchen. Keeps the heat out of the house. It's along the side street. Just the back wall of a house. The old houses set among the new ones. This is the back street of Serenjay. They've got their firewood in for cooking. Really a pleasant village. Lots for the women to buy. So if you like to go horseback riding, shopping or even buy some wine we'll just go over and take a look at this gentleman's shop there he is he's got little samples out for you and this is just outside of the restaurant on the way into Serenjay So do come up, you'll enjoy it. We get a little closer look at the horses. There's the cowboy up there digging a hole. So Serenjay has lots of riding in the mountains for you, or in the big hills.